We crossed the Strait of Georgia by ferry before beginning our long drive north to Strathcona Provincial Park. Founded in 1911, Strathcona is the oldest provincial park in British Columbia and comprises of over 250,000 hectares of rugged wilderness. We'll be taking you with us over the next three days as we explore and camp our way through the backcountry. With a favorable tailwind at our backs and over half our allotted distance complete, we pulled over for a break and some food. Unfortunately for us, the weather didn't do the same and conditions started to turn quickly. We were now facing a growing headwind pushing into the evening, so we opted to cut our exploring short and make for camp in a protected creek. As we rounded the mouth of the creek, we were pleasantly surprised to find a well-equipped campsite with bear bins and tent pads. Anyone who spends enough time in the backcountry will know just how much of a luxury this is. The next morning, we took the time to sleep in and relax before starting the day's camp chores. First up, after coffee, was testing out our new Hennessy hammock for an upcoming trip and rigging up the fishing rods for the day. In BC, you can only fish with a single barbless hook, which minimizes any potential damage to the fish while it's being released. We then pushed off again for another day full of adventures. All right, let's go. One, two, three. With lunch almost over, we were once again fighting the winds to make it back to our camp. As we cleared the swell and cruised into calmer waters, we were quickly reminded just how special this place is. After a quick turnaround, we were back on the boards again for an evening trip to the waterfall we found nearby.
As the evening drew to a close and we headed back to camp, there was only one thing to do. Settle in for a night under the stars. For those of you wondering about the streaks of light in the photos, those are a collection of Starlink satellites passing through low Earth orbit. Early the next morning, we awoke to a thick cloud of smoke caused by wildfires burning nearby. Aside from the poor air quality, it made for the most incredible paddle home. What a beautiful day for a paddle. With the boat launch almost in sight, the wind had one final card to play and put an end to our relaxing paddle. We could have pushed through, but opted to take the easier option of pulling our boards by rope from the shallow shoreline. That's it for this trip. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did and see you in the next one.